Monster, an Attack on Titan X Meat Reader fanfic by Mokamaki. Chapter 11. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and a comment down below. Also, my question to you, if you had to choose a squad to go with, would you choose Levi, Hanj, or Erwin? Let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, let's begin. You're what? My friends all asked as I revealed what I wrote to them in my notebook. I flinched back slightly at their loud voices. You're graduating early? <laughs> Amazing. Congratulations. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I was engulfed in a hug by Sasha. Your fighting skills got you a spot in the Survey Corps. That's awesome. Why the Survey Corps? They could have put in any other branch that could get her out of danger. I gently smiled at them as to say thank you. I looked amongst their excited faces until I noticed Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin's expressions. They were giving me proud smiles, but their eyes told a different story. I sniffed the air. They were worried. Afraid. That's great, Mikasa said. You'll do great. Armin gave me a closed-eye smile. You're growing up fast, huh? Aaron said, his voice slightly fading. I stared at them with blank eyes. Their voices sounded kind of forced. So which squad are you entering in? Sasha asked, completely blocking my vision from the three. My crowd of friends soon swarmed closer around me, making Mikasa, Aaron, and Armin appear far in the back. I wrote it down in my journal and showed it to them. Their eyes widened. No way! You're in Captain Levi's squad? Humanity's strongest? You met him? What's he like? I was bombarded with questions once more, and they closed in on me more, making me take a few steps back. Out of the corner of my eye, I see Mikasa, Aaron, and Armin leave. Their faces read great concern. Suddenly, I didn't feel so happy anymore. Hey, that's enough, guys. You're making her more stressed out than she already is. The crowd dispersed, and Marco gently took my hands. Are you alright? I nodded while giving out a faint hum. We don't mean to stress you out. We're just all super excited for you. Not all of you. My worries were on my friends who just left. I nodded to see if they were alright. They're the only ones who don't seem too thrilled about the news. I quickly let go of Marco's hands and left in a frantic fit. Wait! What's wrong? Once I was far enough away, I sniffed the air and some familiar scents hit my nostrils. They were close by. Walking slowly and quietly, I began to hear soft voices talk in front of a nearby cabin. Aaron, I'm sure she would be fine. I heard Mikasa say. How would you know? Just because she has the strength and the ability to fight doesn't mean she might be strong enough to face titans. I heard Aaron yell. She's traveling somewhere far on her own. I'm more concerned on how the older cadets will treat her. Armin added. I think you two are overreacting. I'm worried about her going away as well, but don't you think you're being a little overprotective? Says you. At least I have a reason to be protective. She's mute and once she gets there she'll be completely alone. What if her squad doesn't treat her well? We won't even get to see her until we graduate. Aaron snapped. My eyes slightly widened. They're worried? About my well-being? Aaron, calm down. Armin said quietly. Aaron stayed quiet for a moment. I... I just don't know how I feel about this. We've taken care of her for so long. I... I'm scared of the thought of her even being alone. I laid my head against the cabin wall. My eyes held deep sadness. I don't even know if I want to leave anymore. Before they could notice me, I silently made my way out of the scene. Time skip. So, you're leaving two days from now, right? Krista added. I nodded, my head down on the table. Ah, oh, that's so little time to pack. <sighs> Not that I have much stuff. If you need any assistance, I'll be happy to help. I sniffed the air. My eyes slightly widened. This feeling of kindness? It's not all fake this time. How come? I sniffed the air again. My eyes grew blank. Pity. I could smell the feeling of pity mixed with the fake kindness. But the pity she was feeling was real. She is actually concerned over my well-being. Hey, you're barely eating. Are you alright? Marco asked me. I faintly hummed and slightly shrugged my shoulders. Can I have it? Sasha, shut up! Jean yelled. I felt more tired than hungry, actually. I picked up the piece of bread and stuffed it into Sasha's mouth. A little too deep because she started to choke. Ugh. 
Stop that. You're making Sasha choke. Connie yelled as he gently tugged on my arm. I quickly got the message and let go. Sasha coughed out the bread as I patted her back. What was that for? Did I make you mad or something? Sasha yelled at me with teary eyes. I just stared at her blankly and began to pat her head, which confused her a bit. You at least need to eat a little. Here. Marco tried to feed me a piece of bread, but I turned my head away and planted my head on the table. Maybe she's really not hungry, he mumbled. I didn't pay attention. My eyes were on my three friends as they talked amongst themselves. I was leaving in two days. Could this be the last time that I see them? The last time I see all of them? Later that evening, I could barely keep my eyes open. I've just put all of my strength into today, which left my body in a very tired state. I could barely keep my eyes open when dinner was served. As my friends talked amongst themselves, I was trying to keep my head from falling face first into my mill. Armin was quick to notice my actions. Hey, are you alright? I hummed faintly as I stopped myself from sleeping once more. Long day, huh? You must be tired. Jean smiled a bit. My head swayed to the side, landing on Jean's shoulder. I could feel him tense up, but I didn't know what face he was making. Just then, I heard a chair get scooted back abruptly, and someone grabbed my hand. I'll take her back, Aaron said with a slight annoyance in his voice. Aaron, Mikasa started to say, but Aaron already pulled me out. It was silent, but I didn't care. I lazily let Aaron drag me. Didn't know where, but I was hoping a bed. Just then, I felt Aaron stop, and he sat me down on a bench near my cabin. He sat down close next to me and stared up at the sky. A comfortable silence fell over us. Hey, how do you really feel about joining the Survey Corps early? I stared up at him. I didn't have my journal, so I couldn't write him my answer. You must be scared, huh? Being separated from your friends and all? Right? I nodded slightly. That's what I was afraid of. Listen, I... I don't know how your grandparents died, but... You must have been alone all those years before you joined the Scouts. You couldn't find me, Mikasa, or Armin anywhere. You were completely by yourself. I felt memories come back. My years of my youth and Walla Rose were lonely. I remember wandering the town, trying to look for my friends, but I couldn't find them anywhere. I thought I lost them too. We tried looking for you as well. We hoped that you survived the hell back there and made it out alive in Walla Rose, but when we couldn't find you, we assumed that you were dead. It, it hurt me deeply, thinking that you might have died to the hands of those monsters. His hands tightened into a fist. The same monsters that killed my mom. Not wanting him to feel sad, I gently placed my hand on top of his fist. He flinched slightly and looked at me. My blank eyes stared back at his slightly teary ones. Suddenly, a small smile broke onto his face. Hey, I slightly hummed. His face leaned close to mine until our noses were touching. I didn't flinch back. He nuzzled his face against mine, which I returned. We both opened our eyes, and Aaron's smile grew wide. I, I'm very proud of you what you've become. I, I'm sure your grandparents will be too. And I promise, I won't let you feel alone again. His words repeated in my mind, but I never replied. <laughs> then again, I guess I couldn't anyways. Sleep slowly succumbed to me as I found myself slipping my head on Aaron's shoulder. My mind, finally, at peace. I hope you guys enjoyed chapter 11 of Monster, the Attack on Titan X Meat Reader fanfic. If you want to read ahead, the link is down below to do that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like. My name is Bazaar, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cue the outro.